There's, of course, the business and political ramifications of this new deal. Let me turn to Arturo Lopez Levy from Edinburgh, Texas. He's a lecturer at the University of Texas, Rio Grande Alley. Arturo is also the co-author of Raul Castro and the New Cuba, A Close-Up View of Change. Arturo, welcome. Oh, see, it's a great pleasure to start uh, to be with you and with the audience of CCTV. You know, you, uh, a lot has happened since you and I talked last time. You have uh, diplomatic moves, the embassy, and now you've got these scheduled commercial flights. How significant is this, Arturo? It is very significant because it built up constituencies for engagement. Now the communities for trade, the communities who has a humanitarian agenda, the people who has families in Cuba, the people that are interested in cultural educational exchanges and academic exchanges, scientific exchanges, now they have another venue to carry on with this purpose. And obviously, as the minister tried to imply in his speech today at the U with the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, he is encouraging Americans of different communities to put pressure on Congress to go further and use this opportunity to expand the trade and the contacts between the two countries. Uh, uh, they're talking about 110 U.S. Cuba flights a day. That seems like an awful, a, a, a big number. Is that realistic for you? Is that a realistic number? 110 flights between America and Cuba. Ossi, today there are more or less, in, in a good day, there are only 11 charter flights. So take that into account when we are talking about- so That's a big a, jump. 110 flights a day. I think that basically what we are seeing here is a movie, not a picture. Uh, the 110 numbers is the number to reach. And I think that eventually, in, in the process of normalization, probably we can have a lot of uh, flights in the high season, the high touristic season, one day when there is no travel prohibition to Cuba. But I think that this is a number to reach. It is basically a ceiling, not a floor. It, it is, but, but it is very important. Un understood. Uh, and tell me if Cuba is ready, Arturo, for a large influx of travelers. Is the airport in Havana ready? Are they prepared for big crowds? Having said that, I should say American tourists are still not allowed to go to Cuba. I think that, that you have touched all the neuralgic points. First, there is no uh, 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 right to travel to Cuba for touristic purpose. You need to have what uh, the U.S. Treasury Department call meaningful travel, basically a tra pur purposeful travel, a, a travel for other purpose that are non-touristic. I mentioned some of them, humanitarian, family travel, scientific, educational. But in addition to that, a big problem is Cuban infrastructure. Cuba's economy is so vulnerable that can be also affected by a positive shock. Today, there are not enough uh, musical trios to play the Guantanamera in Havana if 2.6 million Americans land there as they are landing in Cancun. There are not enough restaurants, bars, hotels, places to stay. Uh, this is a very important issue because all already uh, the prices of some food, for instance, in Havana has increased significantly because with the, the, the rise in the number of tourists, then it is uh, easier and it is more profitable oh. to sell the, the food to tourists than to uh, uh, the local people. So what, what we need is some kind of adjustment and the Cuban economy will have to catch up right. with the new opportunities that uh, that the uh, actions of the Obama administrations are opening. Okay, we'll leave it at that. Arturo Lopez-Levy, thank you so much, sir. What a pleasure.